what is a rising edge and falling edge welcome to another training session of plc programming in today's session we will learn what is a rising edge and what is a falling edge let's see an animation when a box passes in front of a sensor the sensor gives an output signal now if we look closely as the box front corner just comes in front of the sensor the sensor output signal turns on at this moment, if we look at the output pulse signal has just turned on. This is called the rising edge of the output signal. As long as the box stays in front of the sensor, output signal stays on. The moment box leaves the sensor sensing range, the output signal turns off and the output pulse signal drops. This is called as the falling edge of the output signal. Now let's see how rising and falling edges can be used in the PLC programming. We can use PLC inputs in the several ways in PLC programming. Most common are normal open, normal close, rising edge detection and falling edge detection. Let's see an animation. How does a rising and falling edge detection works? As you can see that the moment the front corner of the box is detected by the sensor, it gives an output signal and normal open contact is closed. But the rising edge detection contact will be turned on only for the one PLC scan cycle. And in the next scan cycle, it is turned off. So the rising edge detection contact will be turned on only for the one PLC scan cycle but the normal open contact will remain closed as long as the box is in the front of the sensor. In this way, we can detect precisely when the sensor output signal is turned on. Now, the moment box leaves, the sensor output signal goes off, but the falling edge detection contact will be turned on for one scan cycle in the next scan cycle it will be turned off in this way we can detect when the output signal of the sensor is turned off now we will see how we can use a rising and falling edge detection in the ladder logic now let's see the program for the today's tutorial let's assume that we have connect our incoming car sensor at i0.0 Whenever a car comes in front of this sensor I0.0, it will start incrementing the MB10 byte by 1 and keep on incrementing as long as this I0.0 car incoming sensor is on. In the network number 2, we just move the MB10 value to the MB11 byte just to monitor it. Now, let's assume that we want to trigger this add function only on the rising edge of the sensor. To do this, we need a rising edge detection section, which is positive RL low edge detection. We can just drag and drop it here, and we will assign it any free bit MB M12.0. Now, as soon as this sensor I0.0 senses a car, this instruction will send a pulse to this add instruction only for the one scan cycle of the PLC. In the next scan cycle, it will turn off that pulse. As you can see that as soon as the sensor I0.0 detects a car, this rising edge detection instruction has sent a pulse to this add function and it has incremented the value by one. So basically this instruction is only sending the true logic to this add function for only the one scan cycle of the PLC. Now let's see how we can detect the falling edge of this sensor. To detect this uh, falling edge, we will go to the bit logic and insert this RLO negative detection. We can delete that positive and we can give it M12.1 download to PLC. Now what this instruction will do 
as this sensor i0.0 detects the sensor it will not send this pulse to the add function but as the car leaves in front of this sensor i0.0 and this sensor is no longer detecting this car at that moment in that scan cycle of the blc this instruction will send a pulse a trigger to this add function which is falling edge of this sensor i0.0 now as you can see that as the car comes in front of this sensor this negative or falling edge detection has not activated this add function now as long as the car passes in front of this sensor i0.0 this instruction has sent a trigger for one scan cycle to this add function and our mb10 data register is incremented by one and its value changes to the two so this is how we can detect negative and the falling edges of the sensors or the rlos in the coming sessions we will be using these positive and negative edge instructions to make some simple logics till next time take care and goodbye